Hello and welcome to this week's research video. And so I'm going to show a little bit of what I've been doing this week. And so uh, I'm going to sort of like hop, to, hop ahead and this is going to be a preview of sort of what I'm going to show. And so you see this text, it's ran through a Voronoi uh, diagram. I don't like that word, Voronoi. And oh, not named properly, that's not good. So I'm going to show you what this text does here. What this does is this grows, it basically uh, hooks up the Voronoi pieces into a constraint network and it figures out where the shortest path is and how to grow these properly. So they grow from their neighbors, they don't just like scale up, they actually translate from their uh, parent that's determined in a previous, that's earlier, and it grows, it moves and scales from that position. So I have this effect uh, that it's going through and it's just uh, assembling like this. So uh, what I do is I delete the geometry and I connect up by an attribute called text index. And so you can see there's my attribute text index on the point and I have a text index on my primitive here as well. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use this to promote a growth primitive. What the growth is, is sort of what I just explained here, is it is these pieces, uh, when they, they start from their parent's position and they move to their original position. The original position is one, their parent's position is zero when they're, when they're not grown. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna promote that growth attribute up onto the primitive and I'm gonna average it. So when something is completely grown, that means I'm gonna have an attribute of one. If one of these letters, there's, I have an attribute on here that's less than one, that means it's currently growing. And so all these one attributes are mean it's fully grown. So now that I have that, uh, we can just take this outline of the text and what I'm doing is I'm putting an attribute called end and rate on it. So rate is going to be sort of like a grow an accumulation rate. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the rate. If the piece is, the letter is fully grown, I'm going to transfer that over. I do it with the find attribute uh, value. And then I switch the rate. If it's above 0.1 or it, if it's uh, close to one, just it basically is one. Uh, put the rate at 0.1. And so then I'm going to accumulate that in a uh, point attribute. So when the piece is fully grown, start growing um, the letter. And that's going to get clamped. So uh, all what I'm doing here is I'm saying add the rate into the end. And then clamp it right here. So don't go above one. And then so on the per primitive carve, I get an effect like this. And so as you can see, I can drive uh, the letters outline drawing compared to uh, when this, when this uh, text here finishes. And I fuse polywire and then just to show you like the, the completed effect, it's this. So I have the text sort of grow in these abstract pieces and then the outline draws across it. All right, so uh, that is basically the per primitive carve in action and why I needed per primitive attributes uh, on a carve. And so that's why I wrote this node. And so I guess uh, a takeaway from this video is this little trick right here, if I haven't shown it before, uh, it's very handy. Delete your geometry, connect it all up into one primitive and then you can promote to the points and onto the primitives. So it's a very good way to average all the, as you can see, I average all the growth across uh, an attribute. So uh, it's super handy. So thank you for watching and I hope you had fun. Thanks a lot.